Hey guys, you're watching G-Shock Tech, and today I'll be showing you guys how to create your very own jailbroken theme using the website called Code Themed. Let's get started. So here is the website you want to go to. It's called CodeThemed.com, just as it sounds. Um, this is the homepage. You want to go to Build Theme Now, and it will ask you to um, sign in if you have an, already an account. It takes about a minute to do that. Just give your username, email address, and a password, and that's simply how you do it. Um, this website is for the people who want to build their own theme but don't have the tools necessary to do it um, professionally, whether it be through a different program or you're coding it by yourself. It's just the very visuals of it, changing your icons, your background, and your status bars. So here it is. Welcome to Theme Builder version 2.1. I'm going to choose iPod Touch and Retina HD. You can do iPhone standard, iPad standard, whatever one you want. They want to hit OK. And then here is the home page where you get to do all your theme building design. You have three tabs up here. You have your changes to your home screen where you can change your icons. You can change your backgrounds, your docs, and your label style. And then you have the second tab, you have lock screen where you can change your sliders, your slider backgrounds, and unlock text. And status bar changes with your backgrounds, your icons, and your carrier. So on home screen, for your icons, it was very simple. You can just... You click on one and then you choose what type of icon you want. I say that one for my FaceTime one. Go through each one, the ones you want to change, just like that. And so you go through each one you want to change, like stocks. Every single one, you have two pages, so you have multiple ones. If you have if you do create your own icon label or your picture, whether it be the Adobe Photoshop or another image editing software, you can upload them right off your desktop through this upload browser and each one of these things I'm going to show you, you can upload your own image as well. And then you have backgrounds where you can choose your own background to go with your theme. You have docs where you can choose none, you can choose a wood dock, and whatever you click on this side you always see on the iPhone or iPod Touch on that side. And then you also have label style where you can have undocked, docked, calendar, change it to visible or not invisible, change the text point um, text font size advanced and color then you have lock screen where you can change the sliders to whatever one you want you have the slider background so you can have a blue one a red one whichever one and then you also have unlock text where you can have the color where it goes across where like the highlight goes across that's what color you're gonna have it as then you have status bar where you can change the status bar up here to whatever color you want as well as the icons whichever color you want there it is then you have carrier where you can type in your own carrier name so let's do D shack 11 set as carrier and it's going to show up G shack 11 right up there so once you have done all the things you want to change to your theme um, all the ones on this website is very simple you gotta do is save changes save it whatever you want to do so let's go test number number two and then you want to hit description G shack tech then you want to hit save and it's going to save and once you have done that this is where the if you want your theme that you just created if you want it on your actual ipod touch or iphone you want to hit download theme now you're going to now it's going to give you three different options to choose from you can download as a zip file download as a raw file or transfer to your device um, transfer to your device I will not do that one because you have to have code themed the application code themed um, on your iPhone or iPod touch from the city store but that costs a dollar and I know some of you guys would say well I can get it for free but I have yet to seen one currently up to date that would work on the whatever firm firmware 4.3.4 or whatever the firmware is right now so what you want to do is go to download as a zip file it's gonna start downloading to your downloads file right there there it is theme.zip test number two if you have not heard of OpenSSH or the application CyberDuck, um, click on the video link on the screen right now and it will get to take you to another video of mine showing you how to do OpenSSH for iPod Touch or iPhone and using the application of CyberDuck. So once you have downloaded your theme, um, there it is, mine test 2 right there. You want to open up CyberDuck for your Mac. This is on my Macintosh computer, so that's why I'm using CyberDuck. It is going to open. Alright, so then you want to go into CyberDuck right here, and then you want to open connection, type in your IP address, root, connect, and then you're going to get to the private bar stuff. So then what you want to do is go back to private var, then you want to go into stash, wherever stash is, stash, stash there it is, stash, 
and then you want to go into themes. So then you want to drag your um, downloaded theme from codetheme.com, grab your theme thing, then go drag right into themes.gca, then you want to hit cancel, and it's going to start transferring right to your device right there. It's going to let, let it load for a while. Once it's completely uploaded, um, you're going to have to restart your device. And then once your device is fully rebooted, um, you want to go into Winterboard, and then it should be right there for, it's going to be called Test 2, whatever you named it. It's going to be right there for your um, put implementing onto your Springboard theme. And that's how you get your themes from CodeTheme.com onto your iPod Touch for free. Um, I would love to have used the code themed application, but sadly it does not work for the firmware 4.3.3. Whatever the firmware I'm on right now, um, it has been is not been up to date with all the free ones just yet. I don't want to really want to pay a dollar for it, so that is one downside to that. And that is it for this tutorial of Code Themed. Hope you guys like it. Um, check out my previous video on my channel. Um, check out my Twitter feed. And if you like what you see, subscribe to my channel, D Shack Tech. And as always, thanks for watching, and see you guys in the next video.